Hey YouTube, it's Mark. And Rocky. And we are This, this Cruise, Cruise Life. Life. We are so excited to tell you all about our first ever Virgin Voyages sailing. Yes, we sailed on Valiant Lady over Thanksgiving. We want to tell you all of the things that we loved, what we didn't love, and, and what, what we hated. hated. But before we do that, we are so, so close to our 2023 goal of subscribers. We are literally 75 people away from our goal. It's free to do. If you don't mind, before we jump into what we love, didn't love, and hated. what we hated, <laughs> uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button and stick around. Hey, Rocky. Yeah. Let's tell them all about what we loved with the food. Oh my gosh, the food. So from the first steps on board the ship, we immediately found Lick Me Till ice cream. It was so good. And as we talked about in our first 24 hours, we loved the flavors that were available and we kept going back every day to discover new because flavors. they rotated. They rotated the flavors throughout the entire cruise. They it did. Was that Mocha chocolate oh, chip. Oh, that was so good. Mm. That one, the pumpkin was good. Uh, there, we could go on for days. There ah. are so many good flavors. So check out the ice cream. We made it from there up to the galley. The galley is literally one of my favorite spots on board. I yes. loved everything I had there. And they had a variety of restaurants all within that galley space. Bento baby. Oh, the grab and go sushi. It was what so a concept. good. And the, they had rotating burgers. Right. Every day they had a different surprise burger that you could discover and they were good. They were very good. The Thai, the Thai curry, curry ramen. Bowl. Oh yeah. The ramen, if you get to noodle around up there on in the galley, uh, that was one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, the diner. Diner and Dash. Diner and Dash. It's 24 hours, seven days a week of omelets and other breakfast items that you enjoy. That bacon was so the bacon. good. There oh, wasn't any oh, bad oh, bacon oh. on the ship. Let's shift. talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> was delicious. Every morning I had um, Eggs Benedict, yep. the Mexican Eggs Benedict. Yep. Uh, just well bread. Yes. Oh gosh. And the where, dessert offerings. You got offerings. the bagels. You got oh, the bagels. Oh yes, the bagels the bagel for bar. breakfast. Yeah. Uh, like there was always food in the galley. Oh, you know what we forgot? What's that? The grab and go options. Oh yeah. I've never been on a cruise ship where you can just grab and go granola bars. You right. can grab and go, uh, what all was it? They there? had salads, salads, they had sandwiches. And it was a great container. You could tell that they actually reused the container, which we love. They're yep. green for the sea. Yep. Um, and, and those food items were actually really good. They're so, so uh, all of the, and, and that's, oh, by the way, that's just the buffet, which it's not a buffet. It's not a buffet. Uh, don't forget about all of the specialty restaurants that are included in your fare. So the beautiful thing about this eight day sailing is we had the opportunity to dine in all six of those specialty restaurants at least one time. Yeah. We actually ended up going yeah. back to Razzle Dazzle because so we enjoyed good. it so much. Yeah. Uh, the food was just top notch at all of the restaurants that we went to. I, it really was. To me, it, it compared very much to a specialty restaurant that I would have paid for on Norwegian Cruise Lines or on Carnival or on Royal Caribbean. Oh my gosh, let's talk about Thanksgiving dinner. Oh my gosh, In the, the wake. wake. Oh. What an amazing restaurant. Yeah. Their the, filet mignon was delicious. The, I was going to say the starters. I It oh, was yeah. the first time I ever asked for a refill on the soup. Now, don't worry. We are going to record a separate video and we're going to tell you everything we ate on board. Oh, and yeah. we're going to give you pictures. We're going to give you videos. We're going to give you menus. Yes. Right? We've got it all. We've got it all. <laughs> We've got it all. So we're, gonna, we're not going to tell you all about the food other than to say we It was good. Loved. I loved. Yes. I don't know about you. Did you go hungry? No, not once. So if you like a, a good meal, if you like to sit down, if you like to be serviced and taken care of when you're dining, if you like unique options, they had a whole lot of unique options. We can't leave the what we loved about the food without talking about Test Kitchen. Oh my gosh. That corn, which wasn't actually a corn on the if cob. If you know, you know. Right? Um, they had multiple menus. So they had a they rotating did. menu. So you could go to the Test Kitchen two different times and experience right. two different menus. It is yeah. a prefix menu. The specialty restaurants in the galley are not just the only places that you can find food on this ship. Oh my gosh, there was food everywhere. 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 <sighs> <laughs> what were some of your other favorites? Because I've got my personal favorites. I'm afraid I'm going to steal it from you, but I really enjoyed the pizza place. Oh, you did steal it I from know, me. Oh my gosh. That truffle egg uh, pizza. 
That was so good. You Who hear, would have thought? You hear me talk, uh, especially on, if you've watched any of our carnival videos, I get super excited when carnival adds a new flavor to their menu. <laughs> This is an everyday occurrence on Virgin Voyages. There's a specialty pizza of the day. I was so happy. One day it was ham. Yep. I was, oh, it was so good. But that truffle egg that pizza truffle on the egg daily. was just the winner. The, uh, I like the pepperoni. The pepperoni was good. Yeah, there really the was. The crust was good. Yeah. They had the salads. Oh, they also oh, yeah, had yeah. salads. The and grab and go, and go was mm -hmm. there too. Mm -hmm. It was just. It was really it good. It was awesome. It was. It really was awesome. And I know it's not food. I know it's not food. But I loved how at the pizza place, I could just say, hey, could I get a Coke Zero? Oh, yeah. And they had the fountain there. I'll yep. talk about what I loved in the drinks here in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but yeah. I loved anywhere you went on that ship. Yep. You could just ask for a soda and it was... No charge. Included. You didn't have to show your... Oh. Oh, oh, oh hey. You're banned. Oh. <laughs> I'm feeling naughty tonight. <laughs> oh. Okay. okay. I seize the day. Continue. <laughs> what else did we love in the, in the other food around the ship? Uh, Sun Club Cafe. It's kind of in a weird location. If you're not very familiar with the ship, it might take you a couple days to find this location. Don't let it take a couple days. Find it right away. Tell them right. Mark and Rocky sent you. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Sun Club Cafe had some really good food. It, they mostly served bowls. They had some... Like pokey. Pokey, right. And like uh, you had the... Carrot hummus. Oh, that like, hummus dish was so good. It was a carrot maple hummus. Can't carrot, leave out the oh maple. Gosh, it was so good. I yeah. mean, you tell them Mark and Rocky sent you. That's right. Um, and what else? The dock. Cruise tip. Do not put off finding the dock. Oh my gosh. The food there, we went for Opa Hour, which was Opa. amazing. Um, Opa Hour runs specific times of the day. Yeah, and it's Greek food. Um, really good lamb dish. But you can yes. order from the regular menu yes. as well. So we ordered a smorgasbord. <laughs> look at the, look at all these plates. We had one of those, those giant beach beds that they had on the Lounge back beds. of the ship. Yep. Yeah. Beds. And it was filled with food. There was no room for us. <laughs> so, I, but that's a great cruise tip because we didn't know, we discovered it the very last we night. We did. And it was so but, good. But we didn't want to miss it. Yeah. So we went there before dinner because <laughs> we were like, well, we can't miss a dining venue on board. We have to tell you about it. Yeah. Well, we still end up missing another dining venue on the ship. There's so much. Honestly, when I say I loved the food, this was probably this was probably my favorite overall food experience oh, yeah. on a cruise ship yes. and, and in 51 cruises. Absolutely. Without a doubt, this the food was just varied and it was all good. It was yeah. top quality, which yep. was great. Yep. Okay. One other thing that I really enjoyed from the food that we haven't talked about, and that was tea time held at oh, yes. SIP. Yes. Uh, SIP is actually more of a champagne type of a lounge space, mm -hmm. but they have tea time uh, specific hours of the day. Mm -hmm. And it was actually really good. There were lots of small little bites that you could have, a variety of teas. You could add on champagne because you're in a champagne lounge, yeah. so why not? Uh, really good. That's we correct. got to try chicken liver. And we ate every last drop of it. We did. It was so good. We finished it. Again, if you uh, if you enjoy sit down restaurants, if you enjoy kind of the, the the specialty dining restaurants on other cruise ships, I truly believe you will find something on Virgin Voyages yes. that you will love. And guess what? You can go back. Yeah. So we went back to Raza Dazzle, as Rocky mentioned. So you can go back if you find a restaurant that you love. Again, stick around. We're going to do a full review of the food, what we ate, what we recommend. Yes. And a couple of items that we probably would skip if we were to go back. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that's the food. Let's talk about the drinks. Oh, my goodness. So I will tell you my favorite thing about Virgin Voyages. Okay. What how, is that? How generous they were with the champagne. <laughs> they were. I mean, from uh, the solo gathering when we first got on board and they yep. gave out free champagne to the sail away party sail away where party, they gave away free champagne free. to the welcome back party where they gave away free champagne <laughs> to the speakeasy experience where they gave away free champagne. <laughs> I don't know if you're picking up on a theme here, uh, but we drank a lot of champers on that Yes, cruise. we did. Lots of Moat and Chandon. <laughs> so good. It was good. It was very good. So one of the other things that we really enjoyed was our $20 of coffee credit every day. Yes, I said $20. We both had Deep Blue Extras for the sailing, which gave us each $10 of coffee credits at the Grounds Club and the Grounds Club too. There wasn't one specific cocktail anywhere that I found on the ship that I was like, I love this. I need to come back. I think about Mardi Gras from Carnival, the fortune teller bar. Oh, I would yeah. go back there every day and I would order yes. Venus Rising yep. or I would order the bog juice. Like those were to me drinks that I wanted to drink. Like this ship, there wasn't really a drink that I just, I, again, yeah. I didn't 
not like my yeah, drinks. Yeah, we didn't get anything we didn't enjoy. Yeah, it was the, just nothing was the, standout. The blueberry mojito was tasty. Yeah. It just wasn't something that I went back and I said, I need to get that again right. and again. Right. May have been all of the champagne. I don't know. <laughs> um, but it was, it, the bartenders, super friendly. Yes. Everyone was just great on board. Yeah, 100%. So we've loved a lot about the food. We've loved the drinks. Yeah. Let's talk about entertainment. Oh, let's talk about that entertainment. What is not to love about the entertainment on Virgin Voyages? Starting off the very first night, we had reservations when we got on the ship to go see the Misbehave show. Wow, we were not prepared for the adult themes and adult humor that was in front of us at this show. It was awesome. It was funny. There were, uh, you know, uh, beach balls thrown in the air. Uh, it was uh, it was great. We, we also talked about that in our first 24 yes. hour review. Like we were just blown away. The PJ party was also Oh my that gosh, the night. pajama party was like, so fun. It, that first night we were like, wow, this is, I mean, they really went all out on night one. Yes. I wonder what the rest of the week is gonna be like. And it was not a sleeper for the rest of the week. We'll tell you that much. <laughs> Definitely want to pay attention to what you're packing to make sure that you have the right attire to bring to all Cruise of these tip. different things. Um, look at these Born Again Version shirts. They are perfect for Scarlet Night. Or boarding. We, or we boarded the ship. We made more friends <laughs> on board Virgin Voyages wearing these Born Again Virgin shirts. And you can get them both, of course, in our shop. Yes. Link is in the bio. Um, but like, I, they were... A hit. There was a resident drag queen. Actually, she went by the diva. Um, and the diva was everywhere. We actually first were introduced to the diva at the pajama party where she wore her night mask um, and came out and she serenaded the crowd up on the deck. I didn't get it. Rocky had to say, well, because it's the PJ party. She's got her. I was like, why is she wearing like green? She looked I, like the Hulk. I thought she was Elphaba. <laughs> oh, yeah. Elphaba, okay. too. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she was amazing. She was everywhere. We actually went to one of her shows. It was called Around the World in 80 Minutes. We were blown away by this show. She was talented. It was nonstop. She, she wasn't lip syncing for most of the show. She was actually she singing. Voices. Yeah. Um, I said I wanted to be able to tip with this thing. I suggested <laughs> yes. Virgin Voyages. If you could implement this as a feature, <laughs> that would be awesome. Because right. we would have definitely tipped her. Yes, yeah, so we didn't have cash on us. They were in the room. Um, but no, it was awesome seeing that. We also yeah. also went to one of her cabaret shows down oh. in the On the Rocks bar and lounge. And karaoke with, uh, with and oh. karaoke with with the diva. I was gonna call her Carlos because she goes by Carlos. She goes by but... Carlos. <laughs> yes, the diva. Yes. Oh, that was so much fun. It was. So the diva was everywhere. She was awesome. Um, some of the other shows she that was we... at Scarlet Night. Don't she forget, was at Scarlet Night, which we'll talk about. Oh my gosh. Yep. Um, we also saw dual reality, which I really enjoyed. They actually reset the whole space yeah. and it was two sets of bleachers going towards each other. Red and with, blue. With red and blue sides. And they had a, a set mats in the middle where they did the performance. And so you cheered. If you were on side red, you cheered for the red shirts. Right. If you were on side blue, you cheered for the blue shirts. It was supposed to be like a, a modern day Romeo and Juliet right. fighting, coming together, love story. And the acrobatics ah, were the acrobatics impressive. Were. And the, that yo-yo thing that I've yes. never seen before. The well, Chinese yo-yo. I've never seen a Chinese yo-yo, y'all. <laughs> uh, Rocky was like, oh, it's a Chinese yo-yo. I was like, I have, and suddenly it's up in the air. And I've it's been to my Cirque du Soleil shows. I'm sorry, what can I do? Was, I mean, I, I would have paid for that show. Absolutely. On, on, on other yes. cruise lines, I would have paid for that show. Yes. It was so good. It was great. We've already talked about the sail away party and all of the champagne, but that was, that was, <laughs> the diva was there too. She was, yes. Uh, so that was when we first met the Happenings cast, which is essentially their kind of fun folks around the ship oh that uh, make sure that the party is always going. In fact, here's a cruise tip, another cruise oh, tip. Yes. Make friends with your Happenings cast. They yes. greet you the moment you walk on board and they are there, they are throughout uh, the, the cruise experience. Make friends with them because they have access to a whole lot of secret exclusive things that we've been sworn to secrecy so we can't tell you a whole lot about them um but but make friends be, be make friends just in general yeah. on a cruise yeah. um but 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 hang out with the happenings cast they are really really cool folks the valiant lady the happenings cast thank you uh we just did our survey uh not too long ago and said what an amazing experience that you all created for us i mean we did get to meet madeline the glow 
Oh yes. Hey Maddie, we were looking at you. We did. We did get it. We did get some pins. It was. It was great. We got invited to some secret yes. speakeasies. So when we're talking about the happenings cast, what's an easy way to identify a happenings cast? Well, they're all in red. They're all in red. They're the folks all in red. I mean, but there's a lot of people on the yes. ship that are all in red. So so you'll you'll know. They look like captains' uniforms, like the captain do. of the ship or different engineers. Here. Um, but no, they're super easy to find. And honestly, if you find just one that you like befriend, that's gonna be great for you. Just pay attention, hang out with them, make sure you greet them constantly. Yeah. It's gonna be well worth it. What we it. say all the time. On Virgin, it just happens when you do that, there's all of these other surprises that, that may come along, yes. may come along with it. Absolutely. So let's talk about something else that is all red. Yeah. What's Scarlet that? Knight. What's that? And when he says all red, mm -hmm. he means the entire ship. The Everything. lighting scheme changes on the ship. Look yes. at the hallways, they're yes. all red. The main atriums change to all red. Everything, uh, the crew, they're yeah. already all in red, but and they're all even more of, red. All of the sailors are now all red as well. <sighs> Scarlet Knight was unlike any shipboard experience I have ever been through. You know, we've been to sail away parties. Obviously, we went to the one on, on Valiant Lady. Um, we've gone to other types of events that they have on board the ships. Scarlet Knight was just so unique. The whole ship got involved in this celebration, um, and it was ship-wide. Down in the atrium, yeah, I know, I they're, they're forming the goosebumps. goosebumps. Um, down in the atrium is where it all started, and they had, they had handouts, they had the giant octopus things that were blow-ups in that atrium. It was really kind of unique. And then from there, the party moved up on deck. Now, our experience for Scarlet Night was truly unique. Well, before you get there. Yeah. Well, I, maybe that's where you're going. Are, you going. are you going here? Well, I wasn't going to talk Rawr. too much about that. I, we can't can. talk about yeah. this. We can't talk about this, but Rawr. Rawr. Scarlet Night. Okay. That's right. Um, so as we moved up on deck, what made this such a unique um, Scarlet Night experience was it was actually raining. So as they were getting ready to start this experience, they always check the weather and see how things are going to be for the, the experience. Yeah. Because if it's too wet, it can pose to be unsafe for the there's happenings a lot cast. Of, there's a lot of dancing. Not only the happenings cast, no, dual reality. Dual reality. Dual that reality. Was up there. They came out and yeah. they did acrobatics and they did more of that. <laughs> what was this called? Chinese yo-yo? Yeah, Chinese yo-yo. They did more of that on stage. I mean, it was, it was epic. It was pretty awesome. And so while we're up there, they started the show and it was great and we're having a great time. The energy was there. No, remember what they had to first oh, do? Oh, they did. They, they had to take towels and yeah. squeegee and dry off all of the spaces for them to like that was something that i've never seen yeah. before i mean it was all the happenings cast and crew members yep. they were literally drying off with towels yes. the crew's deck yeah and it was awesome it was awesome it was, it was an epic experience I, I think we can use those words right now for this experience it was truly epic as we were out there, you know, it's getting later, we're dancing. We actually jumped into the shallow parts of the pool where you can stand up and you can just kind of like, you it's know, true. party to the music. We got out of that at one point and we're standing off to the side and we're watching the, the Happenings cast dance on the pool, pool decks and it's raining. It's just pouring rain and everyone there is just loving it. And it was packed it was packed it was packed so you know how when it starts to rain on a cruise ship everyone scurries away yeah, no everyone just welcomed it and the laser lights were yes. picking up the rain and so you you would see like this this rainbow of light and all red scarlet everywhere and people just singing to the music dancing it was i i agree with rocky i absolutely agree with rocky this was unlike any entertainment experience that yeah. i've i've had on uh, any of my cruises yeah and, and it didn't stop there on deck. Uh, there was the after party down in the manor, which yep. is the nightclub, the dance club. Yep. Um, remember those white, uh, oh, those yeah. white things that they had, uh, yeah. white sheets that yep. they had? Uh, like it was, it was, it was epic. awesome. It was yeah. epic. Yeah. Not to overshadow Scarlet Night, we also had a port stop in Bimini. Oh my gosh. Bimini, you know, you wouldn't, we're, we're talking entertainment here. What about Bimini Island is going to be entertainment? Well, first of all, the white sand beaches and the lounge chairs and the umbrellas. I loved that. Oh I loved gosh. that part. That was a great part of the entertainment, but it didn't stop there. It did not. So Bimini has two pools and they actually had the Happenings cast came out to one of the party pools and they brought out all of the floats. Giant floats. Huge. Human float-sized floats. Yes. 
as opposed to animals. Um, and they put those out on the water and everyone climbed on. They kind of grabbed their own float that they wanted to use. And the Happenings cast came out and they were dancing on the edges of the pool. Man. It was amazing. Man. And then some of them became mermaids and mermen. Um, and we got to swim with mermaids and mermen, which yep. was really cool. Yep. <laughs> and then the epic song of the day, which became our anthem... Rain on me. <laughs> and it did. Only not rain this time. No. The Happenings cast had coordinated water guns out into the pool. And so literally you looked up and it appeared as if it was raining. It was awesome. But it was uh, coordinated to the music and coordinated. Uh, it was just such a cool day. And, and there's... Uh, there's, there's more. And yes, there's more. <laughs> uh, the food at the Beach Club at Bimini was, tr uh, it was unlike your Beach Club food. Oh, now, yeah. I did comment that it would you have did. been nice to have a burger or a brat or a, a hot dog, yep. something like that. Yep. But but the the Thai food, the, the <sighs> rice and beans. They had a fruit salad. They had chicken, a skewers. Like, it was so good. It was, again, specialty food uh, at, at, at the Beach Club. Yeah. It was delicious. Yeah. It and was awesome. Here's here's one cruise ship that I will say uh, right. about Bimini. Okay. If you pack a water bottle, we always oh. recommend packing a water bottle for your cruises. Bring it out with you because- Empty, it can be empty. It can be empty. They ran out of cups uh, and they had to wash the cups. It was probably 20 minute wait yeah. that we were out of cups uh, yeah. for sodas. There's sodas, there's soda machines out there. Free soda well, machines. And these work on the island too. At Don't the bar. Don't forget that. At, yeah. the, at the beach club. Yeah. You can go to the beach club bar and get a drink. Yeah, yeah. Here but you go. But bring, bring your bottle so that they can fill it in there and you're not stuck waiting for them to get drink cups. Um, what else? There's a couple other entertainments. Oh, I loved, um, I loved the magician. Oh, Andy the Charmer. Andy the Charmer. Oh, he gosh. He was awesome. He was, he was great. It was like a sideshow. It was a fantastic show. Yeah. Uh, he wowed the crowd. It was in that center roundabout atrium space. So not only did you have viewing from the, the ground floor, but you could be on the round stairs. Yeah. You could be on the upper stairs, upper deck. It was awesome. He did some some real interesting stuff with a calculator on the phone. And the dollar bill. I still don't really know how. I, it was impressive. Sorcery. And this is a kind of entertainment, kind of drinks, but yeah. it was the welcome back party. So because we had Deep Blue Extras, yep. they welcomed us back with more champagne. Yep, we got back on the ship from Puerto Plata and we were summoned to this wonderful welcome back party. And it was just a great gathering. It's a great way to meet other sailors who have either sailed with Virgin Voyages before and are wearing those wristbands or have the status match yep. from other cruise lines. Yep, it was great. And again, the Happenings cast there as well. Yes. Uh, they are every, when I tell you the Happenings cast is everywhere, they are yeah. the entertainment on that ship. Absolutely. So that's the food, drinks, and entertainment. Now let's talk about all the other things that we absolutely loved about sailing Virgin Voyages. Starting with the new terminal. Oh my what gosh. an experience. Super easy to get to. It was. Because it was of the later debark. Right. All of the previous cruise ships. Right. Their traffic had already died down. It was so easy and oh, it was so beautiful. It was beautiful. We had a 1.30 arrival time that we picked because we were Deep Blue Extras qualified. And literally we showed up to the cruise terminal we gave our luggage to the porter. The porter wrote down our room number, slapped that onto our luggage and whisked it away. And then we walked up to the sailing club line and checked in. 20 minutes from the time we got in line to the time we were on the ship, 20 minutes flat, super smooth, loved that. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. We also loved the design of the ship. The layout was great. We never encountered major lines anywhere on the sailing, mm -hmm. and the, the ship was almost it's at almost, capacity. It was full. Yeah. yeah. Um, one of the things that we absolutely enjoyed about this was the individual spaces. They all had such great personality, from Razzle Dazzle with all of the black and white and red everywhere, and Pink Agave with those really cool lights, orbs that you walk under, and then the dock. What a great space oh, the, the dock, dock was. The, the aft of the ship was absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I thought you were going to call it the wake. The, the wake, wake has some of gorgeous. the best views on, on the oh. ship. Oh my gosh. Eating in the wake for brunch and just looking out at... We were the closest to the water I've ever been eating. Yes. Uh, like There were just so many beautiful spaces on board. And even the entertainment spaces. The venues where you watched the shows were really well yeah. themed. The yeah. manor was beautiful. Oh my gosh. Remember the lighted entrance? Oh, the lighted mirrored entrance. Okay. We super could go cool. on for days super cool. talking about the theming of the ship. It was gorgeous. Super cool. The other thing that Virgin Voyages does really well 
is technology. Now, be before you before you say liar, liar, I've used their app. <laughs> um, technology in terms of the band, which is your payment card, which is your key card, which is it's everything with you, everything. and it's a, a, a handy dandy uh, accessory, fashion accessory yeah. after your cruise. Yeah. Um, they do the the technology really well. I, I have an allergy to avocado, and that followed me throughout the ship. Anywhere that I went, where they were uh, serving me uh, and knew me by name. Uh, they called me by name, Jess. Yes. Oh my gosh, Jess, Jess. from Pink Agave. First when night. She would see us in the galley and she would make it a point to always come up and say hello and talk with us and ask us what we were up to for the day. Yeah. I mean, that's, that is, that's uh, we wonderful. We love that part that's of cruises. wonderful. Yes. Speaking of technology, let's talk about the automation in the stateroom. Oh my gosh, everything, and I mean everything, could be controlled from those tablets. Yeah, yeah there were light switches and all that sort of thing, but you didn't want to use them. Well, not everything. The hammock. The hammock was not technology, but boy, was that wonderful. What an awesome addition to the stateroom balcony. Yes. I didn't realize how much I was going to enjoy that hammock and swaying on, sorry, not not balcony, uh, sea terrace. Sea terrace, yes. Virgin calls them <laughs> sea terraces, to be different. but. Yep. But yeah, that stateroom. I loved the stateroom. Yes. And the great news about it is these ships are optimized for ocean views. And so sea terraces are a plenty across yes. these yes. ships. In fact, if you want an interior, sometimes you're going to pay more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's so few. The technology that I really also loved were the pagers in the galley. Oh, yeah. So if you walked up to any of the restaurants and ordered, they gave you a pager. It rang when your food was ready. Yeah. Those proximity pagers were yep. awesome. Something that I loved, which is always a miss on a lot of cruise ships, as we were debarking the ship in all of the ports, when you're walking to the gangways, you have TV monitors at the gangway entrance that tells you where you're at, what the ship's time is, what the local time is, what your back on board time is, Everything was right there. It was self-contained and it was amazing. Invested in technology the last day of the cruise ship. If you were wondering where you could go get food, yes. don't worry about it. Yes. They convert the elevators into giant billboards <laughs> telling you where you can eat, when places are open. Uh, like uh, That was amazing. So, yeah. And everything is it can be a screen. It's super cool from a tech perspective. Very cool. Speaking of debark morning, I have never had such a relaxed debarkation. We were able to stay in our room the latest we've ever stayed in our room my on a alarm, debark morning. My alarm didn't go off until 8.30. Yeah. Usually, they're yelling at you if you're still in the room. They're knocking on... The, and, and the crew, because it's a later uh, embark, yeah. Yeah. they were absolutely good with that. Yeah. And so I showered. Yep. We, we finished packing. It was, it was awesome. It was wonderful. And then from there, they still had several venues open that we could go to. Again, we didn't get off of the ship until 10.30, 10.45. It was wonderful. It was lovely. Because you know what? On that last night of your cruise, you oftentimes, well, maybe I'm just guilty of this or we're just guilty of this. We oftentimes stay up late. We don't want to get off the ship. No. And so we end up staying up way too late. And so it was nice to be able to sleep in a little bit. Yes, it was. Uh, one of the things that I really liked about Virgin Voyages is I could find this guy whenever I needed him because I could just text him. Yeah. With Wi-Fi included as part of your cruise fare, you didn't need to rely on, you know, one of those buggy cruise line app-based <laughs> text things that sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. That was awesome. I loved having Wi-Fi. Deep Blue Extras, sorry, I know I sound like a, a recording <laughs> for Deep Blue Extras, but you get the it's premium Wi-Fi. Totally lovely, but but even the basic Wi-Fi worked uh, fine to text. Yeah, absolutely. And I think one more thing that I really want to talk about from a technology perspective, when the ship is in port late at night, we have the opportunity just to see what the ship actually looks like. And they actually change the colors of all of the balcony lights and it'll spell out a message. We especially saw this when we were in San Juan and it said, I heart Puerto Rico. Oh, it was so cool. Super, super cool. We saw that uh, during the pandemic when yeah. cruising shut down and they turned on all the lights. So yeah. like, we, we will be back or yeah. we love cruising. Yep. It was just really a neat touch. It was. A couple of last quick things to call out. You loved the stargazing. Oh, that was such a the, cool experience. At the dock. Yes. If you get a chance to do the stargazing. We loved the the round uh, therapy pool. What was it called? The well-being pool. The well-being pool on Lido yeah. or on the main deck. We loved that. It was but, warm. It wasn't too hot. It was perfect. It was perfect. They had hot tubs up there. We yep. loved those. Yep. 
and there was no smoking in that casino. They actually had a separate room dedicated to the smokers that they could go in there and just smoke. They also had some slot machines that they could play on as well. Yep, there is always so much we love about a cruise ship, uh, and, and this was no exception. Rocky, what did we do on board? We ended up booking another voyage before we even finished the current one. We visited the My Next Virgin Voyages desk, and the agent there was amazing. Yulia, if you're watching, thank you so much for all of your assistance with our booking process. Um, it was fantastic. And if you want to join us, it's on the website. It is. Check out our website. Okay, so that's a lot to love, obviously. It it's a lot to love, and if you've made it this far, thank you. Now we're going to talk about a couple of things we didn't love, and, and there, there were one or two things that we hated. There is. All right, so the things that we didn't love, starting off with the food. Yep. There's always something that you're going to find that you didn't really enjoy on a cruise ship. Like the lamb at the wake. Like the lamb at the wake. Uh, overall, the food was great. It was. But there were was. a couple of things that we kind of left behind, but that's the beauty of a cruise ship. It is. One of the things we didn't really enjoy about tea time was how pricey it was. It was $19 just for the tea time. So that would be just your tea and the little bites. And if you wanted to have the champagne aspect of it, which of course we're going to do, it was $35 a person. Yeah, a little pricey. I, the experience, I'm glad to say that we did it. Me um, too. I, I do actually recommend doing it once, yeah. um, but I probably, I don't know that I would do it again. No. Um, and then the, the, the food venue that I was most looking forward to on this cruise yeah. was Gun Bay. You heard me talk about it in our live. You heard me talk about it in the first 24 hours. I was so excited. It was the most disappointing restaurant of them all. Yeah. Um, we just, it was just, it was, we sat next to some tables that were loud and obnoxious, which is kind of Gun Bay means yeah. cheers. Yeah. And so people were screaming it and pounding the tables. Uh, fun, fun experience, but and, and because it was just the two of us, we got paired up with two other couples, two other sets of couples. And if you're not in a good environment with those individuals, it might be hard to make friends and yeah. really find a way to enjoy the meal. Yeah. It's nothing against the table mates that we yeah, were seated no, with. absolutely not. It just wasn't the right experience that we were looking for. Yeah. And so, uh, and, the, and the food was okay, I would say. That was my also least favorite probably food on it board, uh, except the bimini bop. Yeah. That was that was really, that was really good. good. That was really good. Okay. Let's talk about drinks, the things that we didn't love about the drinks. Okay. I mentioned that there wasn't really a drink that we found that we absolutely loved on board. That's okay. What we there were some that we didn't love though. Uh, my grasshopper uh, mezcal drink at Pink Agave had dried grasshoppers in it. I got it for the experience. I knew that there were dried grasshoppers <laughs> in it, but I did not love that drink. Yeah. Um, some other drinks that we didn't enjoy, if I recall Bimini, when we went to Bimini Island. Oh, yeah. The, even though it was the same bartenders from the ship, I think they were just so rushed. and they were so swamped. Swamped with so many people that they were just quick pours. And they weren't really that great of a drink quality. They weren't. It just, there are too few bars, I think, for Bimini, which causes them to, to really try to rush. Because you've got an entire ship, almost an entire ship of people there. And yeah. So that didn't love. No. And then the casino bar. I don't know what was going on at the casino bar, but they were very unorganized. Yeah, we didn't get service there once. We tried and we yeah. waited and waited and waited. Didn't even get acknowledged. I, no, we didn't do a lot of gambling. And so maybe if you're not a gambler, uh, you yeah, know. I know. Their menu looked good, which made me sad. It's weird. But otherwise, the drinks were, I mean, we didn't go thirsty. No, we didn't. So let's move on to the entertainment. And there's one show, believe it or not, that we actually did not love. Yeah, didn't hate it. Didn't hate it. Just kind of bored. Yeah, it's a ship show. We didn't really love this experience. The food, it was a part, okay. it was a food and and show, kind of a, a mixed experience. Yeah. Um, and the food was just okay. It's there okay. wasn't really anything exciting about it. Not a ton of flavor. It reminded me of work conference food, if, yeah. if y'all know what that means. Yeah. And then the actual entertainment part of it was kind of, eh, it didn't really have a strong storyline. There was one point where we were kind of fearful for our lives because they had... So dramatic. Yeah, well, they had an, a, a, a performer on stage who did bow and arrow using her feet. So she was standing, doing a handstand and used one foot to pull or one set of toes to pull the bow back. Um, <sighs> she missed she her missed target. She missed the target. And we were sitting kind of in the corner and it hit the sidewall and... Uh, 
we found out that the rest of the shows that week did not have her act. So um, definitely saw her life flash before our eyes just a little bit during that act. I didn't love it. I mean, it was. I'm glad that we went. I'm glad to Me be too. able to say that we saw It's a Ship Show. Yep. Uh, but I probably won't go on our next voyage. Probably not. The only other thing that I didn't love in the entertainment, I, you heard me uh, sing its praises. I didn't really understand the wedding in on Scarlet Night. They had a wedding in the roundabout. The mics weren't working, so no. you really couldn't hear what was going on. And yeah. and they picked random people from the crowd. We think I, we don't really know. <laughs> yeah. We and everyone. I think it has seems... something to do with the Scarlet Night story. But again, we didn't have the full hearing of like what was going on. And everyone I'm... around us was confused. Yeah. And so uh, I'm sure there's something more to that but that was yeah, didn't love that didn't love that and then finally a couple of rapid fire things that we just didn't love on board the the towel bar in the bathroom was kind of in a weird placement it was right behind yeah. the toilet and you couldn't have the lid stay up the towels were in a place where they would make it fall down it, it really was weird just, it was a weird design it was yeah speaking of things that were weird this this is how they identify you as having deep blue extras this yeah. long bracelet that has uh, it probably still has some soy sauce on it It still smells like soy sauce <laughs> it has, it's so long around your wrist that it gets in every single thing i i didn't i didn't love this no. i didn't need that um let me talk about something else that i didn't love and that was the muster process oh yeah so the video was cool it was edgy it was unique it was fun it was long Oh my gosh. Yeah. I wasn't prepared to sit there and watch a five minute video of how to muster. Now, maybe for someone that hasn't been on a cruise yeah. before, it's a little bit more valuable to them, but it was a little too long. And then the muster station, it was a little too long. We had to wait to actually get into the group. It, it, that process. Yeah, the mustering love. process. I, I will tell you though, if you're watching this and you've cruised before, I still love it more than standing outside on that wraparound deck and waiting with uh, 2,000 of my fellow passengers. I will take this any day that is a very good point um the net the net we didn't love it that was cool a weird concept. design element cool concept yeah. but it just it was uncomfortable very uncomfortable the wi-fi there was some issues with the wi-fi oh, it was yeah. a little spotty here I and there i did not love the wi-fi yeah. we couldn't upload we wanted to upload our first 24 hours we, we tried it on board we could not upload down speeds were fine we had some friends who were staying in a mega rockstar suite and they invited us to check out richard's rooftop it was yeah, there really wasn't a lot of excitement going on there. Now, it was the evening hours and they had already closed the bar, yep. but there really wasn't anything really exciting or exclusive feeling about that space. Yeah, we saw that in some of the other reviews that we watched before getting on the ship and and we kind of we kind of see what they're talking about. I just didn't feel super exclusive. No, it didn't. Yeah. And then the last thing that I will say that I didn't love was and again, this is, I don't know that I would say didn't love. I, I just wish I would have known more about the dress up options on board a Virgin Voyages sailing. Oh my God. The PJ party, we made do. We, we, we <laughs> yeah. grabbed our gym shorts and stuff like that and we made PJs. But like the PJ party on board, the, um, the, Elegant night, not elegant night, but everyone wears gold. Yes. So if you know, if you know, you know, you wear gold. Now we knew Scarlet Night. We yeah. knew that there was going to be a lot of red on this ship, and so we made it a point to 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 bring lots of red with us. Um, but but there were multiple places and multiple themes. It was just so much fun. Next time I'm in Bimini, next time I'm in Bimini, I am wearing a merman tail. Oh no, I'm I'm I'm, I'm not. <laughs> that would require a whole other suitcase. That that probably would. So that's food, drinks, entertainment, and just general of stuff yeah, we didn't love. That's not what a, we didn't love. Not a very long list. No. Let's talk about what we hated. Fortunately, it is a very small list, starting with our dining experience at Extra Virgin. Now, this is a gorgeous space, and we were really looking forward to some of the dining offerings there. Maybe it was that we were just really hungry and we wanted to try a lot of things. Our server was not the best. Um, she scrutinized all of the food that we were ordering, said Scolded that we were ordering us. too Scolded much, us. we wouldn't be able to eat all of it, and of course, challenge accepted, we ate everything we could. Of course. Um, but we missed out on the entire dessert offering. We never got to try the affogato, we never got to try any of the other tiramisus. Mm. Like, I was really disappointed in that experience. Yeah, she, she believed that we had had enough food, and so dessert was not an option for yeah. us. It was really 
weird. It was. That was, and unfortunately, it was the last night of the cruise, so that kind of stuck with that kind of stuck with me, and I was like, ugh. Um, again, only only time in eight days that we had any sort of experience that was that was negative. But I mean. It was it was bad. It was she bad. refused to even bring us the uh, charcuterie board. Yeah, charcuterie board. Yeah, I had to ask another person that was dropping our food off. Hey, I think we have an order in for charcuterie. Weird. The other thing that Virgin Voyages gets a lot of hate on is their app. Yeah. I'll tell you, I I didn't. I didn't hate the app experience on board. I really didn't. Um, there were a couple of times that I would click on something and it wouldn't load, and I'd kill it and reload it. Um, but but. Overall, the app worked on board. What I did hate, and I hated it with a passion, was the stress of booking every restaurant and every show and trying to coordinate that. How many days before the cruise? 45 days. 45 days before the cruise. Yep. The app crashed constantly when we tried to do that. We had to get a piece of paper and jot down what we were doing on Tuesday at 4 p.m. so it didn't conflict with this show and it didn't conflict with this dining. It was stressful. I will do it differently on our next voyage. I know now what to pre be prepared for. Yep. I know the restaurants. Like I, we're gonna do a full review of the restaurants so yes. that you know exactly what you want to book when you get on board a Virgin Voyage. But I hated the stress of that I, it, and and the bu the bugginess of the app. Yeah. On board though, it honestly, great. it it I didn't have the challenges or problems that a lot of other reviewers have. No, mentioned. no. I I feel like they've worked through some of those bugs. Yeah. So that's really good. Absolutely. So that's what we hated, a very short list, but uh, fortunately we were able to get through it pretty quick. Yep. Eight days on board Valiant Lady honestly wasn't enough. And that's, you heard us talk about booking another sailing. There was so much to love on board this ship. Absolutely. From the design, to the food, to the drinks, to the entertainment, we are so excited to have this opportunity to set sail again yeah. on Virgin Voyage as Valiant Lady. Um, I'm excited for it. Uh, Richard Branson said Virgin Voyages is going to redefine cruising. And I will tell you, check mark plus Richard Branson, yes. uh, you definitely, you definitely scored some high marks from us on this voyage. Yeah. If you're looking to book a Virgin Voyages sailing, let us know. Let us help you make that yeah. booking happen because honestly, this is so different than anything we've ever experienced. It's wonderful not having anyone under the age of 18. Um, no buffet lines was also a big highlight for me. Um, and we can't stop talking and singing its praises. Can you tell? We have talked to you for like 47 minutes by this point. If you're still here with us, I know you have clicked that subscribe button. Yes. I know it. I know it. And I hope that you like this video. Oh, please, please. Then it recommends it to the algorithm, That something with this algorithm. And smash that notification bell. Ugh, hey. Don't miss any of our videos. We, yeah, don't miss any of our videos. So so we won't be back on Virgin Voyages again until March. For a couple months from, mm. from the time that we're recording this video. But don't you worry. We've got a whole bunch more content coming. Carnival Jubilees inaugural, If you're depending on when you're watching this. Yeah. There's videos about that. Um, there's going to be videos about MSC. MSC Merigvillia. Merigvillia. Don't try. Uh, I'm not going to try. There is, there's going to be so... Oh, oh. Uh, Carnival Firenze. And the Carnival the Firenze. Inaugural and the That's inaugural, coming up in April, April, May. Yeah. We've got some time So we've got that. all sorts of content coming. So uh, please, please stick around. Yes. And if you want to hear more things about Virgin Voyages, check out the playlist right here. We'll see you soon.